And there we go. Right. Okay. So a little bit more enshrouded. Um, or meow. Okay, so today I'm going to do an experiment. And by experiment, I do mean an experiment that I've already attempted, which is the fire wisps. Because if I do manage to get 10 of them, I just want to see if they are at all viable. Okay, so we're gonna do some gathering. Gathering, gathering, gathering. And also, I'm gonna do another experiment that involves both my stream and my YouTube. I am going to restrict myself a little bit, and I'm thinking that I'm going to try to stream just for an hour rather than two, and try to cut a little bit back on the length of my YouTube videos, purely because I think I ramble a little bit too much, like in all honesty. I mean, I could edit the videos down further, but I'm probably a little bit narcissistic and I enjoy listening to my own voice. So I'm just gonna test out how is it going to be if I stream for one hour, edit down that video to maybe let's say anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes. Could be, could be something. Just to give it a go. A little bit of a go. At least I hope that this isn't gonna be the entire video. There's a chance, because also if I restrict my time to just to stream one hour a day, I kinda have to force myself to have a topic or have a goal for the stream rather than just, you know, do something and then continue doing something else. Usually I have a goal for every stream, but once I finish that goal, I usually end up exploring and doing random stuff. You know, that could be enjoyable for some, but I think it's about time that I get some better quality videos, a little bit more content. But we will see, we will see. I mean, I've already posted uh, close to 150 videos on my YouTube. Oh, that's a Fire Wisp Summon. So it's about dang time that they start to get better. Okay, we've gotten five scrolls already, and it's only been five minutes. Now that is something, but I do want to confirm if my theory of getting the beast mastery talent and then respecting if you keep it and also if i do restrict my time a little bit with the streaming i might have more time to work on the other series that i have in mind <sighs> like story time with orionin and the stories of old now they were on the roadmap they talked about performance enhancing and yeah in that uh tiki -toki short video they did mention that sometimes you might feel like you have less than the fps that is shown and i don't think that i have 140 fps right now okay so yeah we have even improved maybe and also they need to fix the lighting yeah is that yeah far is well, fantastic might as well loot the rest of the stuff nope not bad at all okay let's head home let's try to kill the doggo again with the fire wisps okay i'm just gonna put stuff away and I'm gonna repeat myself, I said it before, I'm gonna say it again, I want one button in order to deposit all of my schmidt. Might as well do 30% damage multiplier. Not sure if this applies to the fire wisps. Now this is gonna be interesting, but I think that I'm gonna engage with the doggo, make him do the initial attack, and then I'm gonna slow and steadily summon the fire wisps, just to make sure that they don't all die at the same time, because they get one shot. Okay, so here's the dodo, gonna take one, move a little bit over here, another one, okay, he's using that move, okay, a couple more, okay, do I need to attack him? Why aren't they attacking? Okay, they're attacking the small ones, but not the big boy, I mean, okay, attack me, he said attack me, uh, I wouldn't say it's that fancy, but it is, it is sort of working, works great for the bugs that it does for the actual dog uh, no, they, and they only do 10 damage like and i am specked into fire yeah okay so they're not not that op yeah <laughs> i do a hell of a lot of damage after he is stunned <laughs> yeah. if i have known of this trick when i first tried to defeat him that <laughs> that would have been something okay so go uh, tight uh, what was I saying? Yeah, like the, the trick of shooting him in the head when he's charging up, I mean, that is the most viable way to kill that uh, that wyvern. But yeah, 10 fire wisp summon scrolls, that was not very effective. Now 100, hmm, yeah, I'm not sure, they did, they did fire a lot more at the bugs than the actual boss, which I find kind of weird. So yeah, maybe they're for, you know, just to, something to guard you while you do stuff. Maybe. 
Okay, but uh, I mean, yeah, in technicality, I have finished what I wanted to do in 20 minutes. Oh, okay, yeah, but one thing, yeah, one thing that I also wanted to test out. Yeah, I need to confirm. Okay, so first of all, let's find ourselves. Uh, come on, fly. Uh, let's see, bear, yeah, bear. There, okay, they're attacking me now. Yep, that they are. Okay, now if I respec to Beast Mastery, and then I respec again. Okay, we will see. Reset skills. There we go. And then if I just go this way to calm spirit, beast mastery, all that good stuff. Okay, uh, anyhow, now I have the beast mastery talent. And if I reset my skill again, 10, 10, 10, 10, 6, 10. That is neat. Okay, now I spent a little bit too much time getting this back back, but at least now we should maybe still have the beast mastery talent. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Well, would you look at that? Huh. Well, that's... That's... That's something. What the hell did he... Oh, he saw a chicken. Right. Yes, get the chicken. Come on. Don't give up yet. Get the chicken. Oh. Okay, so we now have the Beastmaster talent without actually having the Beastmaster talent. No. No, hang on. Oh. Okay, but my... Ouch. Trap after trap. But my stamina regeneration is still at the same. Yeah? Yeah, that doesn't regen as fast at, as it should be. Now that is weird. Why? Let's see, if we go into the character, status details maybe? Uh, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't say anything about beast mastery attributes. Probably not. Yeah, susceptibility. No, it says nothing about the beast mastery. Okay, so you could just have the beast mastery talent really from the get go. Like, if you level up a little bit, okay, let's see. I mean, you don't have to necessarily level up in order to get it. You just need to do the Elixir Whales to get the most amount of um, skill points and then Shroud Roots. Uh, 21. Well, that's a lot of skill points. I mean, they are looking at me, but no, they're they're my friends. I mean, might as well have a... No, oh, hang on, wasn't I? Oh, okay, loads of buttons. Said. All right. I'm not sure what they are supposed to be. I um, keep calling them bears and monkeys, but they're just definitely hybrid. At least the Wooka Brawler, I mean, he looks like a monkey. Sham squenches. Yeah, they do look nice. Very nice. They're nice saber-toothed tigers. What is going on with their tail? Okay, do you, can, can you stand still? I'm trying to look at your tail. It is flat. I haven't taken the time to really appreciate the model of these things. Yeah, no, no, they, yeah, they look fantastic. Oh, to be able to ride one of these things, that would be something. Although it would have to work kind of like Skyrim, where they can almost climb mountains. Then again, there are goats in the game. Now, there were no mentions of mountains in the roadmap, but according to the community post, a lot of people want, want, want it. And I would like to ride a bird everywhere. Now, it needs to be faster than gliding, I believe, but we will see. Now, one thing that is also on the menu, I want to make an obstacle course. Because that would be fun. Yeah, and they also mentioned in the roadmap sharing your gameplay experience. Now, I thought they just meant like posting videos on YouTube and, uh, and uh, Twitch, but if you could actually upload your map, like, so that you could access it in-game, you may have to have, have to download it, but that that should be fine. Yeah, and loads of obstacle courses with uh, could be with a glider, could be with double jump, and could just be regular parkour. Hada, 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 hada. <laughs> Where's my torch? That's a dog. Now does he attack me? Why? Why does that doesn't make sense? Okay, so he comes to my rescue. Yes. Okay, maybe. Ow. Ow! Why are you attacking me? This one, Counter Strike. After receiving them, uh, then again, he hit me first. That he did. Like, but why did it, this wolf attack me? I'm supposed to be friends with all of the animals. Hmm. No, no, no. There's uh, something, something weird going on with the beast mastery talent. I mean, obviously there is, since I still have it, and I'm not specked into it. I think those dogs belong to the scavenger faction, not the wildlife. Ah. Oh, okay, now hang on a minute. That makes a little bit of shh. That makes sense. Yeah, wild animals. Mm, right, wild animals. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 well, well, of course. Those are not wild animals. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Hang on. Oh, spiders are my French. 
Ah, fancy. Okay, let's have a closer look. I can't, I can't, I can't look closer. Now, these goats do seem a little bit small to be mounts, but again, it would be fun to be able to tame one of those and then just ride straight up a mountainside. Now, is there anything fun down here? Oh, just a heap of bad stuff. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this isn't good. <laughs> okay, oh, wait, where the hell am I? Oh, uh-oh. No, there was something underneath there. Okay, no, we have to explore that. I mean, there's probably nothing, but I didn't see something. Okay, uh, oh, I went up this fire lily. Like, right, okay, okay, I'm just gonna land here for a little bit to get some more mana and a little bit more stamina. Right, because this is, oh, yeah, right, of course, yeah, it's down to the elixir well. That makes sense. Uh, okay, I might run an opposite. Okay, where the hell am I, Dodgers? Come on, this way, there we go. Like this could have been an obstacle course-ish. Ow, anything below here? Nope, oh yeah, that's just this area. Oh, it is. Would be fun if they hit something down here, but I highly doubt that. Yeah, okay, so now we're back at this place. Well, it was worth a go. Let's see, badass flying. I do a lot uh, like that, but not that close so far. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. No, it would be very fun to make an obstacle course, maybe. No, you can't build down in the shroud. Right. Now, that would uh, add a little bit more danger to it if they did have the red stuff. Yeah, but, uh, but again, it would be very fun to have an obstacle course. Fly, you bastard. Ah, uh, well, there are buildings here. Yeah, that they are. And I hear bugs. Can't see any bugs. Oh, there, oh, there we go. Yeah, there are enemies around here. Hmm, interesting. Come on. Like, I would think I explored the red shroud with the uh, Chi Chen engine. Right, yeah. But I presume it is probably copy paste of other areas. Like, I would highly doubt there's lore down there. Well, you might know, Mr. Gobshi. Probably just uh, what you can find anywhere in the shroud. Now, those buildings did, did look a little bit fancy. Okay, now hang on, this entire thing is in red shroud? Okay, come on. Yeah, okay, don't die yet. Uh, I need mana regeneration for this thing. <laughs> uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Sit. And stamina. Okay, this is bad. Whew. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa, you. There, there, there was a pit of, pit of death over there. There's the stuff. Oh, hang on. I almost did an oopsie again. Right, okay. So, and, uh, I'm not going to blame myself for not seeing these things because they're very well hidden. So I think that I'm gonna say, as always, until next time.